we can go. This is a Flying J in Walton. Oh wow, look at this. Fuel economy, 30 liters per 100 kilometers. That's amazing. That, that's even, that's only a bit worse than what my Challenger does. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have a load. I think. Yeah, that guy moves very slow because he's loaded. Now look at this guy. Yeah, I spent the night, I spent the last few days in uh, Jeffersonsville. In 300 meters, turn right onto Kentucky 14 East, Kentucky 16 East. Read that small flying J over there, Jeffersonville, Ohio. And then I found a load in Arkansas, of all places. So that's where I'm headed. And this is Walton, Kentucky. So I just passed uh, Cincinnati this morning and this was my first stop. And I decided to order a permit for the first state. This place is crazy to get out of here so this Walton so now I have to go I have to go back because this is I-75 right so I have to go back north to 71 split because I'm gonna go through uh, Louisville and I'm driving on seven axles my um, the first the first axle On the trailer is still up. to buy fuel but I don't have time for that and I still have more than half a tank and so I stopped here I just grabbed uh, some hot water because I already had coffee so I did want to have another one so I just grabbed uh, hot water which is free and got and made myself a white tea. Okay, who's who's going? Okay, this guy is going. All right. Quite often there's cops in here because they made such a mess with these intersections and then there's a speed limit on the other side. I forgot what it is. But they made two of these intersections so close to each other and there's a ramp. Now well, like I'm blocking the right lane. Yeah, 
Yeah, so now I see this green light for these guys to turn left. I hope they don't. I hope they, they don't hit me. So I have to go there. Finally. there's a cop sitting at this gas station but when I stop here and sometimes let's say I want to get uh, get a break from my diet I go to this waffle house you know if I'm if I if I parked overnight at this truck stop and I get I get pecan waffles like waffles with pecan nuts. Amazing. the first permit for Arkansas but because it's such a long trip well not too long but still you know, it's like 1200 miles I don't want to order, order the rest without actually seeing the machine so my uh, rate confirmation says that the first scale the nearest scale to my shipper is at this address which is like I don't know four or five miles from from the shipper I'm guessing they don't have their own scale so I'm gonna I'm gonna go there and scale and check dimensions and then order the rest of the permits because this thing is pretty tall And I moved these particular machines before, but on my drop side rail trailer. And I was much lower. So now I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous about the height. That's why I wanna double check before I order the rest. But the good thing about this trip is that the broker we agreed on a rate plus permits so that's the best deal you know so I will once once I have the bill from my permit broker and I have all the permits I'm gonna send all that to the freight broker so that he can revise my rate confirmation and show the final number uh, you know so I'm guessing on a thousand twelve hundred miles I'm probably gonna spend about fifteen seventeen hundred bucks US And so I negotiated a good rate so we're good I'm just a bit nervous about the height because again this thing has that one of those uh, protective you know those protective cages and 
So the machine itself, if you check specs, let's say uh, Richie, Richie Brothers, you know, auction, because their website has specs for many things, but it doesn't show you that protective cage. And then I went to the manufacturer's uh, website and they say, yeah, the height to the top of the cab is this, the height to the top of the exhaust pipe is this, but then they add the height to the top of the this rollover protective cage, ROPC, you know, adds another I forgot five inches and that's a that's a big difference so we'll see I hope it's not that tall so this is I-71 South the cruise is set at 60 miles per hour 97 kilometers an hour 14 plus C 55F give or take and Cincinnati, Cincinnati I was on 71 trying to go right across and every couple of miles there was signs saying that 71 is closed at the, at the Ohio River use 471 Okay, and that's what we had to do. I had to uh, go like in on a little detour on 471, and then I jumped on uh, 275 and went west, and then went south on uh, 75, 71, and then of course 71 breaks away, and I went to the next exit, which. Where, where the, the flying J was. not gonna happen but my rate confirmation says if the carrier does not deliver the load on time a penalty of $150 a day might be applied but you know it's not up to me like the thing is with this tow load, I cannot go through uh, New York and PA. There's too many, too many low bridges over there. So I want to go through Illinois, Michigan, you know, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan towards uh, the Blue Water Bridge. But Michigan, as you probably know, does not allow weekend travel for loads wider than 10 feet and this thing is going to be 11.6 so chances are I'll enter Michigan and then I'll have to shut down there and wait till Monday and so I hope these guys the broker understands that it's not up to me you know And plus this, if this is really, if this thing is really 151 inches tall, I'll have to get a permit for Ontario because my, uh, my annual permit, uh, the limit is 14 feet, like overall. But with the dimensions they gave me, I will be 14.5, 14, 14 feet 5 inches, 
even though the weight the weight is not big not not a big deal but just the height and 11.6 width some accident happened or something there's uh, two cop cars on the left and one on the right and what do you do you're supposed to uh... look at this guy nice very smooth all right let's see what the what the hoopla is all about two cars on the left one car on the right and we have police officers walking on both sides of the road searching for something there's one guy on the right in a brown uniform and two guys on the left so probably doing some investigation here probably something happened uh, trees are starting to uh, to show leaves the spring is coming West in Louisville kind of like a shortcut from I-71 to I-65 jumping from 264 to 65 and it gets crowded
pretty rough road this 264 traffic jams over here so one lane only for each direction then it becomes two lanes but originally it's just one lane right and imagine this during a rush hour it's pretty big town turn over here and it's getting so hot I'm driving with my AC on and outside it's almost 20 degrees which is what 68 F Stop. Oh, traffic control. My guy broke down. I think I'll just stop for a, for a minute to uh, change into shorts because yeah, it's getting uncomfortable even with the AC. I got too many pants. So we're passing the airport area over here. Louisville International Airport, I think.
So next stop is Nashville, Tennessee. Just gonna stay on uh, I-65 South. And then after Nashville, I'm gonna jump on I-40 West. Tennessee should be uh, two hours away because look the sign says you know these attractions are the next exit which is exit 121 so it's 121 miles to the to the border with the next state my drone on the weekend but it was windy I didn't want to chance it but it's all it's all uh, charged uh, I got uh, two batteries so I have both batteries charged I got the uh, the control thing the control module charged like the remote and I have a new huge 256 gigabyte uh, micro SD card so as soon as, soon as the weather gets nicer Nashville 165 Wow yeah so it's two hours 120 miles to the border and then it's 40 miles to the actual city so let's see right now I'm 800 kilometers or 500 miles away from my destination so by the time I reach Tennessee line I'll be at three 380 miles right so yeah I can definitely load tomorrow you know I think I just need to uh, stay in the saddle a full day today and just so that I have maybe 240 miles for tomorrow okay so hold on so 500 minus 120 what did it say 380 minus 40 so in Nashville I'll be 340 yeah so all I gotta do is drive two hours more after Nashville. If I do that, I will have 240 miles for tomorrow, which is perfect. So I can load tomorrow and go to go scale, check the measurements, and uh, order the rest of the permits. What's 
yesterday. Today is uh, Tuesday. So you see traffic is not too crazy, but still crazy. second time this year after winter that I'm I'm wearing my shorts so plus 21 69 F outside Things are looking up. This is uh, exit six. I-65 south. There's a bunch of pilots here, a bunch of bunch of truck stops, hotels. I just stopped by here to I forgot to buy water. So I bought a jug of water, Deer Park, and I bought a sandwich, wanted to get two, but they only had one, you know what, one of those pork, like a grilled pork sandwich, I love this. And I said, do you have any any more? She says, no, that's, if, if you don't see them over there, that's all we have. So, so I unwrapped it and I threw out, I threw out uh, the top bun. Yeah, it was a rib, sorry, it was a rib sandwich, you know, just very nice meat over there. And so I only ate one bun, but the entire meat, so that's a easy way to uh, cut, you know, cut the carbs. So this pilot over here, this pilot over there, and you know, you know that you are in the south because the price of diesel on the other side is is uh, two eighty three, two eighty three a gallon. Wow! And I've been I've been holding up, I've been holding off on 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 fueling. As you my mileage was uh, pretty much 32 liters per hundred kilometers, not too bad. Because I knew that it would be cheaper in the south. And I was right. So I'm not sure about Tennessee, because this is still Kentucky, right? So is it gonna be cheaper in Tennessee or is it gonna be more money? No, I don't want my, I don't want my trailer wheels to go in there because that would be a disaster. And 
the problem here is that these guys are waiting to turn and so they're too close I need that room what are you waiting for Jesus What is this guy doing? Look at this. on the phone it's a girl and she's on the phone and her boyfriend had just dumped her because she's gonna lose a job because of poor safety rating <sighs> that's why I don't like stopping at these tiny truck stops you know like you get in I was able to get in like in two minutes but getting out man nice of that guy to let me in he slowed down Six miles away from Tennessee border and after that it's 40 miles to to Nashville and then make my way towards I-40 West and so I'm uh, when I said things are looking up my mileage like what's left so the consignee is uh, 615 kilometers, 615 kilometers are roughly 360 miles, 370. So which is pretty good. So I can do 200 kilometers, 120 miles in two hours, and that would leave me just 400 kilometers or 240 miles. For I see there's gonna be some red see a red area over there 12 minutes of slowdown but you know it's only 22 4 and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm already on central time so now it's 22 3 you know so two more hours it'll be 5 or 6 and I found, uh, I was looking at a tracker path, so I found this uh, Love's Holiday, Tennessee, I-40, exit 126. And if I make it to this one, 
from the place where I just stopped it's 125 miles so which is pretty good so 125 that means that from that loves it's just four hours to my uh, shipper so I can I can get up at like five o'clock start driving at six and I should be there before lunch of hotels and uh, there's a flying J I think this is bigger like more space here oh wow even flight flying J is 283 cash 289 289 uh, credit which tells me that if I find a small gas station with some diesel it's probably going to be uh, cheaper than that because pilot is always 10 20 30 cents more than regular stations and also i noticed that my uh, my fuel filter uh, keeps filling up So I see like more like the the level of fuel before I drain it is is higher and higher I'll see how the truck performs uh, tomorrow with the uh, with the load so if it feels uh, sluggish I will just change the filter I got I got two spare filters and I got that wrench so I can do it myself Okay, 274. 274. I'm just trying to remember my odometer. 274680 in kilometers. Because I need to remember what what my mileage was when I entered. Tennessee and so it's a welcome center some beautiful yellow iron over there and there's the sign Tennessee the volunteer state welcomes you Welcome to Tennessee. thank you I'm getting close to my exit in uh, Tennessee so I'm looking for exit 126 on I-40. And I gained I gained one hour. So now I'm on central time. Beautiful. And from this truck stop it'll be just four hours to drive tomorrow. So I should be there before lunch time for sure. I went through a scale. They stopped me on the scale. It's a stop, 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 and then exit to I-65. Here, as you can see, look at this. 
all the trees are already green right up there when I was like Ohio and stuff most of the trees are still have no leaves but here you know the spring is in full swing as they say and now it's 24 degrees plus 24 so I'm guessing 68 plus probably somewhere like 75 F now some guy almost hit me in a situation like this there was a truck lane but I was driving faster than the guys in here so I stayed in this lane and I was approaching a truck like this you know and the gap was getting smaller and smaller it was the gap was probably less than 50 feet you know like for example now right I'm driving I'm catching up to the guy all of a sudden I see in the mirror a guy is flying with some lightweight uh, trailer you know like hauling a boat and he tried it like I don't know doing 80 miles an hour I don't know 75 miles an hour he tried to swing between that guy who was slowing down because we we're going up and me and I see that he, he cannot make it so I, I had to hit my brakes real hard because this idiot pretty much almost hit me with the area of his trailer and I never can find I, I can never find my horn in a situation like this you know like on my international the horn was here I was always like and so now the same thing I started what the heck are you doing and then when he was already past me I found the horn <laughs> and then guess what so he was in such a rush you know driving like crazy maniac almost hitting people and then 15 20 minutes down the road there was a big rest area and I see that truck is standing there like he parked because I recognized the boat it was like a like a big boat on the back of his uh, you know that special boat trailer and it was a white uh, Volvo and I wanted to stop by and maybe throw a, like a flashbang grenade inside the sleeper but I'm out of flashbang grenades never had them actually for the record but that guy made me real angry you know I was driving and thinking of some what I could do you know <laughs> and of course you know you can never do anything like the guy didn't hit me so there was a cop I was passing a cop like what do you do stop and say hey this guy almost hit me uh, was there any witnesses uh, well probably the guy in front of me where is that guy well I have no idea officer so you know but what would help in this situation would be uh, a video video recording you know the problem with video is that stuff like this happens like once a year you know and and then you have to you have to keep your video recorder rolling for 364 days and then something happens you know but lucky for me I had quick you know a quick reaction time and so I saw him in the mirror way before I see that he was flying and had no intention of slowing down so I just I hit my brakes but I got a bit scared because his trailer was you know when you sit like this of course I know there's a lot of space uh, you know where I'm sitting but it looked so close and he had one of those trailers where you know he just has one wheel on each axle on one side as it was very low so maybe that's what helped as well but I when I stopped uh, and I didn't hear anything I didn't hear any noise you know like you know if he would have hit me I, I, I would have heard it right I would have felt like the jerk no nothing I went outside I look at my bumper everything is good but man there are idiots out there or shall we say out here and, and as always 
he was flying only to stop 15 minutes down the road i'm not i swear i'm not lying it's always like this people are in a rush i don't know maybe he had some uh, issue with the you know with his stomach or something he needed to go to the bathroom <laughs> maybe he was getting sick but he parked pretty far from the building of the of the rest area so i don't think he stopped there to use the washroom a lot of these people you know when they're flying at 80 90 miles an hour they think they they did uh, lots of miles and then they stop and you just catch up with them and i was just driving like 60 miles an hour that's it so now I'm in, I increase my speed because I want to get to the truck stop uh, before before all the spots are taken because you know it's at the end of the day. But and then I realize, wait a second. So it's not five minutes to six because that's Eastern time. It's five minutes to five. So I should be good. I should be good uh, finding a spot. And I think that's my exit. Uh, exit 126. A town with a strange name, Holiday. Double L. Holiday, Tennessee. And didn't hear my. Uh, didn't hear anything from my uh, permit broker. So as far as I'm concerned, I still don't have the permit and sometimes, you know, the, some of the shippers, they want to see the permit before they load you. And I'm pretty sure this shipper is the same. And, and so I figured I'm going to get up at 5 o'clock local time, which is 6, my time. So it's real, it's real easy for me. So I'm gonna get up at six my time and start driving at seven my time, which is six local time. So I think in five hours, if I take a break, if I stop, right, I should be able to do uh, 240 miles or 400 kilometers. And so the plan is if I start driving at six, the plan is to be there at 11. I can see loves and I don't like the price one little bit it says uh, 313 uh, credit that's crazy because I already passed quite a few yeah 308 cash I passed quite a few truck stops when it was like 285 280 oh wait a second there's a truck stop over here. 289. Oh wow. I like this one. Forget loves. <laughs> I'm going here. Wow, this one is this one is pretty big. Yeah, we're gonna we have to kill this because it'll keep talking to me as if I missed. Yeah, and this is good. Also this when you when you leave I'm go I'm gonna be turning right onto the freeway so it's much faster. Right? Oh wow. Yeah, so 289. Yes. It's been a while since I uh, I got diesel at less than three bucks a, uh, a gallon. And this is shell, so it should be good quality diesel. But I don't want to fill up right now. I'll do it in the morning. Oh, I see these guys are, park are parking here. I'm 
maybe I should fill up now, you know? Oh, check this out. The guy has a beam trailer with a Liebherr LH60. Same truck as mine. Tried them. Tandem Jeep. And then he has 3 plus 2. Wow, that's... Uh... Yeah, let's go fill up. And then if there's no spots here, I'll go... I'll go and stop, you know, at Loves. Because I think Loves is bigger. Because I see this one is pretty... It's pretty full. Alright, that's it boys and girls. So I'm gonna go inside and prepay. But this is good. So I found uh, two truck stops and... I found cheap diesel and I'm pretty close to my uh, destination tomorrow so I'll be loading tomorrow. I'll make sure my battery is charged and I'll show you the machine once it's on the deck.